Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy cabbage stir fry recipe. This is a Goan recipe called Cabbage for Guff and is another quick and easy recipe and turns out absolutely delicious. Now, if this is your first time visiting and you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button and that little bell icon right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Let's take a look at the ingredients you're going to need. Here I've got about two small onions that I've chopped up, some shredded cabbage, about three to 400 grams, a safetida, I'm going to use a pinch of that, a quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds, a little grated coconut, I've got two chilies, I've just slit this, these chilies lengthwise like so, a few curry leaves, some oil for cooking and salt to taste. We're also going to use a little turmeric powder for this recipe. I've used an eighth of a teaspoon because mine's really potent, but you can go anywhere between an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of it. Start by heating a pan on some medium heat. Add about a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil has heated, you're going to add in your mustard seeds. And when the mustard seeds start to splutter, add a pinch of the asafoetida. Quickly go in with the curry leaves because the, the asafoetida has a tendency to burn. Add your chilies and saute them till everything gets nice and aromatic. Next, add in the chopped onions and you're going to saute them till the onions have softened and started taking on a little color. Once the onions have started developing a little color around the edges like you see here, add in some turmeric powder and stir that through well. And now you're ready to add your shredded or chopped cabbage. Stir well to mix everything through. I'm now going to add a tiny splash of water just to stop the cabbage from burning and to let it start steaming and cooking. Once everything has mixed through, add some salt to taste and give everything a good stir and a little splash of water. Now the amount of water you need will depend on your cabbage. I find that the cabbage that we get here really has a lot of moisture and doesn't need too much water but if the cabbage that you have needs a lot of time to cook through you can go ahead and add a little more water here at this stage. Mix everything through, pop a lid on the pan and let this simmer till the cabbage has cooked through. This typically just takes a few minutes. In a couple of minutes I'm just going to check on the water level. Now like you can see here the cabbage has cooked through and has softened nicely but there's still a little bit of liquid in the pan and I'm just going to turn the heat up and let that liquid dry off. And just before it's ready, I'm going to add a little bit of grated coconut. A couple of tablespoons should do nicely and stir everything through. Cook this for an additional couple of minutes till that coconut has warmed through. At this point, you can check for seasoning and add more salt if needed. Now you can see that the liquid has all been absorbed in the pan and my cabbage has cooked through just the way we like it. So you're ready to take it off the heat. Serve this nice and hot with some homemade chapatis or as a side dish to a rice and curry to complete your meal. And that, my friends, is a quick and easy recipe for cabbage fugat. Perfect for any time you're looking for a quick and easy recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with family and friends that you think might enjoy it too. Now, as always, I'll leave a link to the recipe down in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to see you really soon with another delicious recipe. So till then, take care. Bye.